I'm going to show you how to make a block screen key and save it as a preset so you can use it in other projects. When any video is exported, the default background color is black. If you want to see things underneath the video, such as in this example, the photo underneath this black box, you need to create a black screen key, which like a green screen key will remove the color black instead of the color green. Tap on color and effects and choose the chroma key icon. It looks like a little key. Then tap on the green screen key. Then tap key color and change it from green to black. When any video is exported, the default background color is black. Tap anywhere on the screen to dismiss the color wheel and then move the hue range, saturation range, and brightness range values back to the white notches. These are the recommended values for using the green screen key. You can key out any color that you need to. Change the key color to the color that you want to remove and adjust the values. If you can't see your text, Move your shape element up to the top of the stack by long pressing on the end and dragging it up. The text should now be visible. The black color is still visible because I'm on the title screen. When I go back to the main timeline, it will be removed. Once you've created your effect, like a black screen key or any other, you can save it so that you can use it in other projects without having to recreate it. Open the clip editor. Tap on color and effects. Tap on the star. And name your chroma key effect. In this case, I'll call it black screen key. Tap on the star once more. The effect will be saved in the presets area. Here's another piece of footage. First, I'll add my animated logo right on top of this clip. I can't see the video underneath, so I'll double tap on my animated logo to open the clip editor. I'll close the properties for size and position and choose blending and set the blending mode to screen. Now I can see the video underneath. I'll play the clip to see what happens. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I'm a cute little bunny. Love you. I got a new iPhone. <laughs> the subscribe logo is not displayed properly, so I'll set the blending mode back to normal and use my black screen key preset. I'll tap the presets icon in the main toolbar. Make sure that your logo is selected. And tap on black screen key. Now I can see the video underneath. Let's play the clip. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I'm a cute little bunny. Love you. I got a new iPhone. <laughs> Everything is displayed normally. I've loaded in another project. Notice as I play this clip that you'll see a custom transition that I put together. I call it my diamond transition. The blending mode is set to screen. Notice as the diamond plays, you can see through it. You shouldn't be able to. It should be that solid blue color. Let's take a look at the same clip with my black screen key applied. You should see a solid diamond. Hey, good looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my man, baby. 
Hey, good looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my man, baby.